All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out there tolling in his truth. I'm Bethaka Moth, GMS Dallas, and I just want to go into a quick hit lesson, uh, just uh, dealing with uh, the fact that Jake is searching, man. <clears throat> so like it's Jake is a, a searching for the truth, man. Which, uh, of course, we're in those times, man. We're in the times when the end, you know, we're at the end uh, of this devil's uh, uh, kingdom and society, his rulership, you know, the end of his blessing, uh, uh, Esau's blessing, which is Edom, which are you Edomites, you so-called self-proclaimed white people's man, uh, white people. We're at the end of your uh, uh, your kingdom, your society, your reign and rulership, your blessing, which was given to you in June, uh, Genesis, the 27th chapter, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and we're at the end of that, so... Uh, uh, Jake is uh, which uh, Jake. When we say Jake, we're referring to the true biblical Israelites, who consist of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Man, you know what I'm saying. And of course, we there, there's uh, uh, the scattered Israelites among the other nations who may look like the other nations. Man, you know what I'm saying. You are all Israelites through the Spirit. You know, depending on your spirit, man, it has nothing to do with your with your look. But uh, Jake, it, we're in the times that Jake is uh searching man you know and i was uh uh tuned in to a lesson that the that the uh the Occium here in in uh the dallas camp uh did on yesterday actually and i actually did this lesson already and i uploaded it and then satan was uh, uh you know doing his trickery and, and fooled me some kind of way and made me uh uh, uh delete my uh, lesson that i had already did you know what i'm saying by making it seem like i had two lessons up of the same lesson and I deleted one of them and then both of them deleted. So, you know, it was just, uh, uh, you know, wickedness in, 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 uh, in a high places, man. You know, Satan doing his business, you know, his little trickery to try to stop this truth. Jake is waking up, man, wearing those times. And Jake wants answers, man. You know what I'm saying? Jake is looking for answers. They're, they're noticing things that are going on and, 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 you know, they're just they want answers to why, you know, what I'm saying and that's the question. Why, man? Why are we in the position we're in? What happened, man? You know, why would the, you know, a, a, a just power, you know, do such things to one nation of people, man? You know what I'm saying? Why would he do that, man? You know what I'm saying? No one else is going through what the so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans are going through, man. You know what I'm saying? So. The answers are all in the Bible. And like I was saying, uh, uh, the, the younger brothers here in, in uh, uh, GMS Dallas actually did a lesson uh, yesterday going into uh, uh, a commentary done by uh, the boxer, the heavyweight champ, uh, Dante Wilder. And he was and he was just, you know, he was upset, you know, and, and asking questions, man. And just want to know why, man. You know what I'm saying? So we we have the answers man you know the men of the lord the true men of the lord have the answers man the answers are in the bible every answer that you could possibly have as to why is right here in the scriptures man you know so i want to just get into a real quick lesson proving uh uh who the israelites are because that's your answer man you're an israelite dante wilder you're an israelite man that's why uh, uh, uh the so-called negroes latinos and native americans uh, are on the bottom of this society and going through what they're going through uh, because the Most High did it, man. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to get into a real quick lesson, man, just, just proving Israel, going into, uh, you know, going into the, the fact that we're under the curses and, and uh, you know, proving why we're, we're, we're in the state that we're in as a people, as a nation. And uh, so without any further ado, you know, just right off the top, you know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the true biblical Israelites, man. You're the, you're, you're the people of the Lord and you're a special people above all these people and, and the Most High chose you to himself, man. First of all, right off the top, and that's in the scriptures, man. And I want to get that real quick. You're, you're, a royal, you're a royal people, man. You know what I'm saying? And you try to tell Jake that and he don't want to, he don't want to believe it, man. This is Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse six and it reads, for thou art an holy people. And that word holy means separate, man. Uh, you know, cleanse, separate, separated. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, thy power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, thy power, which 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 means he's yours. You know, because he tells you in Joel, uh, Joel uh, the second chapter, 
that he's your power and none else, man. You know, he's not the power of the earth. You know what I'm saying? He's not the power of everybody. He's not everybody's God, man. He's your God. And he's telling you right here. He's telling you that right here in this in this one precept right here. Deuteronomy 7 and 6, man. For thou art an holy, for thou art an holy people unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai thy power. Thy power. Yahweh Bashem Yahushai thy power hath chosen thee, chosen you, to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above. Not beneath. Not equal to. Which Jake has a problem with that. You know, they they, they, they want to be equal. Jake wants to be equal, man. Jake don't want to be above, man. Every other nation on the planet wants to has a rulership mentality and want to be over your uh, uh, Jake's tails. But but Jake don't want to be over nobody. They just want to be equal. Let's just get along, man. You know, Jake, you know, hey, just bugged out out here, man. Stockholm syndrome, man. You know what I'm saying? But he made us a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So we're not equal to him, man. We're not we're not beneath him. We're damn sure not beneath him. But we're not equal to him. We're above them, man. So if the Lord chose us to be above these people, why are we not above them, man? Well, the answers are, are <laughs> in the scriptures, man, because the most High said that he was going to. uh uh Jack us up, man, for not for not listening. This is Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse four, and it reads, and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And he's talking to Jeremiah, the prophet, man, which we know that Jeremiah, the prophet is a man of the Lord, man. He's he's part of the elect. But the Lord is telling Jeremiah here, thou, you, even yourself. You're going to get discontinued from your heritage just right along with the rest of the uh, of the Israelites that that actually I'm punishing. You know what I'm saying? So he punished the whole nation, man, for the actions of, 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 of well, the majority of our nation, because the majority of our nation is wicked. And they've always been wicked and they still are wicked to this very day, you know, and they ain't going to be right until the, until the most I put them to death this final time. And they get and they uh, come uh, uh, come into the uh, the kingdom. By way of, of of the electing one third, man, that remnant that's going to make it out of here. You know, Lord willing, I can be a part of that. Bringing the past Romans 11 and 26, man, and all Israel shall be saved, man. Because Zechariah 13 and 8 tells you that two parts of Israel is going to be uh, 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 cut off and die, man. But the one part shall be bought through the fire, man. So we know it's not the most high ain't dealing with the whole nation. But this is going into the fact that Jeremiah was going to discontinue from his heritage as well, man. You know, and thou even thyself, Jeremiah 17 and four, and thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not. So the Most High said, I will cause it to happen. So the Most High made that happen, man. You know, he was going to cause you to lose your heritage and your heritage is Israelites, man. You're an Israelite. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a heritage. It's a culture. It's a way of life, man. You know, that's what this Bible is dealing with, man. Those people, you know, and here the Catholic Church and these Edomites came and make it made it universal and, and made it for everybody and made it a religion, man. No, man, it's not a religion. You know, it's a heritage. It's a it's, it's a culture. It's a way of life, you know, for a particular uh, 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 chosen people on the, on the earth. But he said we were going to discontinue from our, our heritage that he gave us as Israelites. You know, we were going to forget every, everything. We we're going to forget who we are. We were going to uh, forget who he is, you know, and, and forget the ways of our people, our culture, our, 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 you know, our heritage, you know, and serve our enemies in a land which thou knowest not. And how, how did how did we forget, man? Because they beat it out of us, man. You know what I'm saying? And they show you that in these movies, you know, the. Uh, 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 12 years a slave, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Alex Haley's uh, roots, you know what I'm saying? The new roots, you know what I'm saying? Where they beat him and, and made him uh, uh, bow down and, and call his call his say, uh, uh, name Toby, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how we lost our heritage. They took the 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 Hebrew uh, uh, the Israelite heritage from us and made us accept uh, 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 the American heritage, the American way. You know what I'm saying? 
that's how we discontinue from our heritage. And it goes into that in the, in the book of Psalms, chapter 83. You know what I'm saying? They made that tumult against our, our nation of people. You know what I'm saying? And of course, they said that the name of Israel shall be in no, uh, no more in remembrance. You know what I'm saying? And when you read, continue to read, or, or is it up or down? I know in that chapter, it goes into Edom, the, the, all the uh, Confederate uh, uh, nations. And at the top of the list was Edom, man. You Edomites. You know, you so-called self-proclaimed white people, man. You know, because y'all are the reasons, the, the, the primary reason that we, the, our people don't know who they are today, man. You know what I'm saying? So it says that I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not. That's why we came over here on, on those cargo slave ships. You know what I'm saying? To serve Esau in a land which thou, know, which thou knowest not over here in the Americas. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. And that forever just means a long time, which has been a long time, 500 plus years. Because it started back during the time of, uh, of the uh, Native Americans and Hispanics, man, during the four, uh, 1492, man. You know what I'm saying? So we pissed the Lord off, man, you know, because hard-headed, man, you know, just a hard-headed people, man. Hard-headed nation of people. As a matter of fact, let me go, let me get this real quick. Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 and verse 15, and it reads, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And that's exactly what happened. He said, If you didn't listen, I'm, I'm going to jack your tail up, man. And that's exactly what happened, man. And that's why people are in the state they're in today, man, because the Lord did it. You know, you didn't want to uh, hearken to the voice of the Lord. So he was he was like, OK, I got you. You don't want to listen. Watch what I got for you. And that's what happened, man. And he sent uh, uh, the, the, that, that nation upon us, man, those Edomites, man. You know what I'm saying? He sent them on us, man, you know. But but if we had listened, let me jump up, Salaki. Let me jump up, because if we had hit, if we had listened, this is what would have happened. Deuteronomy twenty eight and one, and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai thy power to uh, observe to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth, set thee on high above them, not beneath them. You know, that's your heaven and hell up above or down beneath, you know, head tail, man. That's what this is going into, which, you know, I'm going to, it, you know, in this lesson. But if we had listened, we would have been over these people, man. And like he said in Deuteronomy 7 and 6, you know, thou art, thou art an holy people unto the Lord, man, Yahweh. And he chose thee to be a special people. You know what I'm saying? Unto himself. You know? And he put us above all these nations, man, that are on the planet Earth, man. And there's 18 nations on the Earth, including the Israelites. 17 other nations other than the uh, Israelites, man. You know? And each of those nations represent family, a family. And each of those nations represent a world, man. You know what I'm saying? For you simpletons out there, man. You know what I'm saying? But... We didn't listen, man. So we 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 did number 15. You know, our nation uh, uh, did uh, verse 15. We did verse 15, man. We didn't hearken. So he put curses on us that was going to uh, and overtake us till, till it destroyed us, man. You know what I'm saying? So let me go to let me go here. Let me go to Leviticus, the 26th chapter real quick. And verse 14. It's in Leviticus 26 and 14. And it reads, but if ye will not hearken unto me. And will not do all these commandments. And if ye shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgments, so that ye will not do all my commandments, but that ye break my covenant, I also will do this unto you. I will even appoint over you over you terror, consumption, and the burning ague that shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart, and ye shall sow your seed in vain. For your enemies shall eat it. And those things happened during a time of slavery, man. That taking of the heritage in Jeremiah 17 and 4 when he sent us to serve our enemies, man. You know what I'm saying? All This is all saying the same thing. But I'm going to drop down real quick to, to, to verse 33. 
because we got scattered. You know, during that during that time, man, during that slave, during the uh, uh, the transatlantic slave trade, and even even back going to 1492, man. You know, with the with the uh, the Northern Kingdom. This is Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 33, and it reads, "And I will scatter you among the heathen." And will draw out a sword after you and your land shall be desolate and your cities waste. So the Lord uh, uh, scattered the nation of Israel by way of the uh, of, of cargo slave ships, man, slavery. You know what I'm saying? And he scattered us among these heathen men, among all these nations. You know what I'm saying? And he said, and I will draw out a sword after you because we know that who is the sword? As a matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Let's just prove that Psalms uh, uh, 17 and verse 13. And it reads, Arise, O Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Disappoint him, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked. And we know who the wicked is pursuant to Malachi, uh, the first chapter in verse 4, Edom, and pursuant to Job 9.24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And we know who covered the faces of the judges. You know, that's why you have a, a, a so-called white man as the Messiah. That's why you have the fakes of so-called whites over there in the land pretending to be uh, uh, the, the Jews, calling themselves Jewish and Israeli, you know. And, and, and we understand uh, uh, who's controlling the earth in these days, man. You know, who controls the, the, the money, the currency, you know, whose faces are on it. Hey, come on, man. This stuff is not hard, man. The wicked, man. He calls them the wicked. So it says, deliver my soul from the wicked. You, you, you Edomites, man. You so-called self-proclaimed white people, which is thy sword. So Esau is the sword, man. You Edomites, you self-proclaimed so-called white people. You're the sword, man. You know what I'm saying? So going back to song, uh, Salakia, going back to uh, Leviticus, uh, 26 and 33 it says and this is Leviticus 26 and 33 and I will scatter you among the heathen which that happened man and and will draw out a sword after you so he's sending he's he sent Esau on our on our tails man you know what I'm saying and your land shall be desolate and your cities waste. And that happened, man. You know what I'm saying? They ransacked Jerusalem, man. And, and you know, during the time of 70 AD. And, 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 and that's why in Psalms 137 and 7, King David said, uh, uh, remember the children of Edom, you know, that, that said, race it, race it, or, or, or destroy it, destroy it, or burn it, burn it. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what they did during the time of Vast, uh, 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 Titus and Vespasian, man. You know what I'm saying? They ransacked uh, 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 Jerusalem. And, 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 you know, destroyed everything and stole all the gold and, and, and precious things, man. You know what I'm saying? And was putting Jake to death and they fled, man. You know, fled all different ways, you know, and, 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 and a, 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 the bulk of us fled into the interiors of Africa and, and settled on the, on the uh, and, and of course, some went up into the north and the east and, and, and we settled on the western, but the majority of us settled on the western coastline of Africa, man. That's why them, these, and, and of course, they, those Africans took us into slavery. And Esau, the uh, so-called white man, came and, uh, uh, you know, purchased us from them, man. You know what I'm saying? So these people have something to pay for, man. But that's what's going on, Dante Wilder, man. You know, this is these are the things that have, uh, uh, have happened and transpired because we wouldn't hearken to the voice of the Lord, man. You know? Let me get back into uh, a Derut, uh, a Salaki, a Deuteronomy real quick. Back in Deuteronomy 28. I'm going to jump down to verse 40. Uh, where am I start? Uh, let's see where I want to start. I'll start at verse 43 and read down. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 43, and it reads, The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. So this, these are going into the curses, man, because like I read in Deuteronomy 28 and 15, if you don't, if we didn't hearken to the voice of the Lord to do his statutes and commandments, that he was going to destroy us, man. You know what I'm saying? He was going to put all these curses on him, on us, and they were going to overtake us, man, which that happened, man, which is explaining the state of our people, man. What, what, what happened to us while we're in these, in the position that we're in today. But uh, uh, by way of these precepts, man, because the scriptures tell you in Isaiah 28 and 10, precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little, you know, the Bible is, a, is, is like a puzzle, man. You know, like a thousand piece puzzle that you got to uh, uh, take a piece from over here and, and connect it over here. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 what the precepts do, man. And the precepts help you understand, just like it describes who Israel is. 
by way of the precepts, it tells you who these other nations are. It tells you who Esau is, you know, and this is one of them that's breaking it down, man. Who's going to tell you who's who? Deuteronomy 28 and 43, the stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. That's Esau. He's, he's, he's very high, you know, because he's in his blessing right now. You know what I'm saying? He's in his heaven, man. High. That's what it's talking about. It ain't talking about going in the clouds, man. Dying and going into the spirit realm, man. You know what I'm saying? Although we do that, but we come back by way of reincarnation. And it ain't talking about, and just like it, if you continue to read, and thou shalt come down very low. That ain't talking about going into the, into the ground, into some eternal fiery hell. It, that doesn't exist. Not scriptural, man. You know what I'm saying? No, it's talking about conditions. Heaven and hell are conditions. But this is your heaven and hell right here. I'm reading it. You know what I'm saying? If we had hearkened to the voice of the Lord, Deut Deuteronomy 28 and 1 through 14, that would have been heaven. Every All blessings would have been over these uh, uh, all these nations. You know what I'm saying? That's your heaven, which Esau is in that right now. And he's prospered. He's been very bountiful, man. He's been very prosperous, you know, because the scriptures told, told us in, in, in Genesis 27 that he would have the, the, the fatness of the earth and the dew from heaven, man. You know, and he's ruled by the sword which is his weapons, his guns, knives, you know, his military. We see who that's talking about, man. You so-called self-proclaimed white people, man. But it says, verse 44, he shall lend to thee and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head and thou shalt be the tail. So there you go. Heaven and hell. That Do that sound like dying? What does lending to somebody got to do with dying, man? It's talking about... uh. uh him getting up above us, very high, us coming down very low. We're on the bottom of, of this society, man. Oppressed, having to go to this dude for everything, man. If we want a loan, we got to go to him, even though he's going to deny us. He controls that, man. That's being very high, man. He has the power to say no, and we can't do nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He, he controls the, current, uh, uh, the currency, man. You know, the, 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 the monetary system is his, man. So uh, uh, it says, he shall be the head and thou shalt be the tail. There you're heaven and hell, man. You know, the lowly, the meek. You know, that's us, man, that when the Bible speaks to that, man. You know, so stop it, you know. Verse 45, moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. That's what it's talking about, Dante Wilder, man. You know what I'm saying? And you jakes that searching, man. This is the answers to why. This is the answer to why we're in the state we're in. Our people, our, our nation is in the state that they're in. You know, the most high the dead that he destroyed our nation for being hard headed and not listening, man. Not hearkening to his voice, not doing his commandments and statutes, man. You know what I'm saying? Because thou has because thou hearkenest not. Unto the voice of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So this is how we know who this is talking about. It ain't changed. It's been this way for, for 500 plus years, man. You know, the same conditions, you know, because that sign is upon us, is upon us, man. And that same sign is upon Esau. That's how we know uh, who he is, man. He's the wicked. You know, he's the one in his blessing right now. He's the one very high. He's the one lending. You know what I'm saying? We know who that's talking about, man. You know, so the signs are on him as well, man. The signs tell everything. That's why you got to deal with prophecy. If you're not dealing with prophecy, you're not the most high ain't dealing with you, man. Wish your is the spirit of prophecy. Revelations 19 and 10. But read on, because thou servest not Yahweh Bashem Yahushai thy power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. So you didn't, you, you know, hey, you didn't serve the Most High, so you know, with, with, with joyfulness in your heart, man. So he took those things from you, that abundance and, 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 and gladness, you know, because you didn't have that gladness of heart to serve the Lord, man. You know? So if you had had that, and hearken to his voice and his word to do his statutes and commandments. You'd have that abundance of, 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 of all things, man. That's the blessings. Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14, man. We didn't do that, so we got 15 through 68, man. So we're in our hell, man, you know. That's the answer, Dante Wilder. You know what I'm saying? 
But it's uh, reading on. It says, uh, let me see. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai shall send upon against thee, Salakia, in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And that happened, man. You know, that yoke, if you just uh, Google yoke of iron, you'll see uh, uh, pictures of slavery, man, with, with slaves with, with, with chains around their necks and, 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 and wrists and feet. You know what I'm saying? That yoke of iron, man. And it says, verse 49, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai shall bring a nation against thee from afar, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. And that's talking about these Edomites because they spoke English and they came from the far western hemisphere over to the eastern hemisphere and, and, and took uh, uh, you Israelites captive and brought y'all over here to the western hemisphere hemisphere into slavery man you know what i'm saying and as it says in the previous verse we have to go to this dude for everything the one of all things and thirst and hunger nakedness you know we have to we got to go to this dude and he's feeding us a uh, 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 gmo foods for as, as to eat in hunger and we have to go to him for drinking and, and he's he's uh, uh giving us uh making us pay for it first of all but then he's giving us a uh, uh, chemical water with with fluoride and different poisons in it to drink you know got to go to him for our, our clothes and shoes you know which this dude is, is is mixing fabrics which is against our culture against yahweh bashem yahweh shy you know so but this dude we have to go to this dude man you know what i'm saying this dude is the devil man but that's the answer dante wilder you know what i'm saying so let me go here real quick let me go here real quick. This is Amos chapter 3 and verse 1, and it reads, Hear this word that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has spoken against you, O children of Israel. He ain't talking to nobody but the Israelites, man. Against the whole family, all 12 tribes, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. That's why we're jacked up. That's why we're in the state we're in, man. He ain't worrying about none of these other nations, man. Isaiah 40, 15 through 17. You know, these nations are nothing to the Lord, less than nothing. Even vanity. They're empty, man. You know what I'm saying? But less than nothing. How can you be less than nothing, man? You know what I'm saying? But these nations are less than nothing to the Lord. He does not care about these nations, man. They're like spit to him. You know, it goes into that in 2nd Ezra, the 6th chapter, man. You know what I'm saying? It says spittle. That's spit, man. He likens them to, them to spit, man, which is gross. You know what I'm saying? If somebody spits on the ground, you don't even want to even step on that in your shoe. That's gross to people, man. So the Most High sees it, these nations that way, man. You know what I'm saying? So he don't give a damn about them. So that's why he's telling you, you only have I known of all the families of the earth because there's 18 families on the earth. The nation of Israel is a family, and then you have 17 other families. All of these other nations represent families, and they represent worlds, you know? And when you read Hebrew, Hebrews, the first chapter, uh, uh, it goes, in, uh, like I think around the second verse, it goes into how he created the worlds, uh, plural, with an S. It's talking about these nations, man. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's what happened, Dante Wilder, you know? This is why... Uh, uh, where our people are in the state that they're in, man. You know, and we got scattered again. We got scattered among all these nations. Let me go here real quick, and then I'm gonna end this, uh, bring this lesson to a close. Uh, this is Deuteronomy tra chapter 28 and verse 64. And Yahweh Bashem Yahushai shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And that wood and stone represents Christianity and Islam because that's the bulk of what our people are caught up in these days. Of course, they're in everything, Buddhism and, and you know, uh, uh, Egyptology, you know, you know, five percenters. They doing every just every 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 manner of, of, of madness on earth. Jake is into except for the truth, man, except for this Bible, man, you know, and they want to try to act like the Bible you know, man, it's, it's a white man's book. The, the white man wrote that book, and uh, you know, and all kind of madness, man. It's just, just stories and fables, just, just you know, tripping, man. You know, 
but the Bible tells everything, man. It tells you why you're in the state you're in, man. So how is it fairy tales and, and fables, man? You know what I'm saying? But it says that the Lord was going to scatter us among all these people, man. You know, and how did he do that? You know, which lines up perfectly with Jeremiah 17 and 4. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Leviticus 26, you know what I'm saying? And 14. By way of the uh, 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 cargo slave ships, man. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 68, and it reads, And Yahweh Bashem Yahushai shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And that Egypt represents a uh, 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 slavery or bondage. You can read Exodus to, uh, 13 and 3, and it'll tell you that Egypt represents the house of bondage, man, which means slavery. So he was going to send us into slavery again with ships. There's only one uh, 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 recorded uh, uh, slavery by way of ships, man. And that's a transatlantic slave trade going all the way back to uh, uh, 1492 when them them uh, uh, them uh, uh, Spaniards, you know, what I'm saying on them conquistadors came over here to the Americas along with and, and then and, uh, 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 Cristobal Colon, you know, who, who who they taught you was Christopher Columbus came over here to the uh, uh, Americas, which was then Arsereth, you know, what I'm saying and and, and uh, took the uh, northern kingdom, you know, what I'm saying so. It says, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And that's talking about our homeland, which we have unto this very day. And there, here, you know, wherever we're scattered, primarily here in America, there ye shall be sold unto your enemies, not your friends, your enemies, for bondmen and bondwomen. Which it said the same thing in Jeremiah the 17th chapter verse uh, uh, 4, that he was going to send us to, to, to uh, uh, serve our enemies, man, in a land which we knew not, man. You know what I'm saying? And that bond men and bond men, uh, women mean slave men and slave women, man. And no man shall buy you. No man shall redeem you, save you, man. And Jake has tried, man, to no avail, man. Many different ways. So that, to answer your question, Dante Wilder, we went off against our power and uh, uh, he punished us, man. And that's why he said he was going to destroy us, man. You know, so he had to teach us a good lesson, man. You know, and he did that. You know what I'm saying? Our people have been destroyed, man. You know, and that's why Jake to this very day is out here trying to hug these devils that put them to death. You know what I'm saying? Put their close family member to death and they want to hug and love them and stroke their hair and, and kiss them and be and, and, you know, wish them Godspeed, man. Hell no, man. That's the wrong spirit, man. Y'all wish I wasn't in that spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? So you jakes are off, man. But that's those are the answers, man. That's why we're in the state. That's why people are in the state at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So you, if it wasn't for the remnant that's returning, man, that remnant that was uh, 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 predestinated and, 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 and pre uh, uh, chosen before, you know what I'm saying? Preordained and predestinated from the foundation of the world to reform and conform to, to Yahweh Shai, man, you know, the, our nation would be through, man. You know what I'm saying? That remnant is going to be what's going to bring our nation back to flourish again uh, uh, in the earth, man. You know what I'm saying? Beginning and starting with Yahweh Shai, man. You know what I'm saying? But that remnant is, is what the two, because the two thirds is going to get destroyed, man. And they're going to come back uh, into the kingdom by way of the remnant, man. You know, those that are, 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 are returning, man. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's. What's going on, man? Our people are destroyed. As a matter of fact, when you read in Romans, the 10th chapter, uh, uh, Paul goes into how our people have a zeal for the most high, but not according to knowledge. But then you, when you jump over to Hosea, the fourth chapter and verse six, Hosea said that my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, man. You know, so the fact that Jake don't don't want to learn, they don't know and they don't want to know. You know, they despise the prophets. They look at the prophets like they're crazy and talk shit and, 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 and scoff and scorn. You know, hey, it, it, Hosea told you, he said, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. So the most High is going to destroy you, man. That's going to have to happen, which lines up perfectly with Zechariah 13 and 8. So, hey, man, it is what it is. But those are the answers, man. So for you Jakes that are looking for the answers is right here in the scriptures, man. This is what's wrong. This is what happened to our people. And the, the, the only way out of it is coming back, man. You know, and the remnant is doing that. The remnant is returning. You know what I'm saying? So it's a beautiful story, man. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, that's all I got. I just want, I didn't want to make this too long. And, uh, 
you know, hopefully this was edifying to the hopeful elect. And with that, giving all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahawa Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath Shah Dawadat. Shalom.